Source number two, should 16-year-olds drive? It's a question that could reverberate across the country, where every new teen driver is turning a key in an ignition. Is 16 the right age to get a driver's license? Researchers for the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety say the answer is no, and they point to statistics to back up the position that raising the driving age makes sense and would save lives. The Insurance Institute has pressed the question for years. At this week's annual meeting of the Governor's Highway Safety Association in Scottsdale, Arizona, Institute President Adrian Lund is going to push it further. Although Lund doesn't expect to lobby state legislators, he said Monday he will advocate for a higher minimum driving age in his speech Tuesday. Linnea Gracie sees the issue a little differently. Then again, she's 15. I don't think it matters what age you are. The Hinsdale Central High School sophomore said Monday before hitting the road for her driver's education class, as long as you have the practice and experience. The Institute's 17-page report collects research on the minimum driving age from the United States and countries that have higher licensing ages. The research shows states are making progress in reducing the number one killer of teens, motor vehicle crashes, through graduated driver licensing. The law ease restrictions on teen drivers as they gain experience and keep a clean driving record. In recent years, Illinois has enacted teen driving reforms, many of them after the Tribune's Teens at the Wheel series in 2006, examined ways that fatalities might be reduced. The state reforms included doubling the number of adult supervised hours required behind the wheel to get a driver's license and tripling the length of time a new teen driver must possess a learner's permit. Some credit those changes for significant declines in teen driving deaths in the first seven months of this year. But we're still losing a lot of teens on the road each year, Lund said. Motor vehicle crashes kill more than 5,000 teenagers every year. The example the Institute uses most prominently is New Jersey, the only state with a minimum driver's license age of 17. The report cited a study from 1992 through 96 in which the rate of crash-related deaths among 16 and 17-year-olds was 18 per 100,000 in New Jersey, compared with 26 per 100,000 in Connecticut, which had a minimum driver's license age of 16 and 4 months. A combination of factors contributes to make teenagers poor drivers. Much of it centers on the complexity of driving and teens' tendency to speed more and use seatbelts less than older drivers. Also, the teen brain is at particularly vulnerable point in development. 15 and 16 year olds have the logical reasoning of an adult, experts say, but the young mind's social and emotional development remains relatively immature and ferociously seeks sensual arousal, novelty, and risk. The teenage brain is also particularly vulnerable to distraction and peer pressure and is undergoing explosive development. The front portion of the brain which includes control of impulses, judgment, and decision-making, and the coordination of multitasking, matures deeper into the 20s, research shows. But veteran driver's education teachers are skeptical about raising the age when a teenager can get a license. That's like saying we're not going to let any kid get near a pool or lake or the ocean and the drownings will go down, said Brent Johnston, a driving teacher at Hinsdale Central since 1974. I think Illinois has gone the proper way, rewards the kids who do a nice job and penalize the kids who don't. The teen driving issues are not about age and maturity as much as they are about making good choices and demonstrating exceptional behavior, whether they start that driving experience at 16, 17, or 18.